What is up, guys? It's me, Layer265, coming at you with another video today. Well, it's your time for a free shout out just today on this video, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. So, I have three brand new fidget spinners here. <coughs> I have this one, it's a dragon fidget spinner. I have this one, it's a BMW wheel. And I have this one. It's just the circle fidget spinner, is that what I call it? Oh, the wheel, whatever you want to call it. But these three are the three fidget spinners you are looking for in today's video. If you find all three and tell me exactly where they're at in the comments below, I will give you a free shout out. And I'm going to see how many people can do it. And remember, it's only if you find all three. And. Who knows, maybe I'll do a giveaway with one of these bad boys. If you are interested, just say, I want the giveaway. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to go hide these, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, so today we are doing a review on the Lego Technic dump truck here. It is a fairly big sort of vehicle um it came from the lego technic bucket wheel excavator set <coughs> and it is basically part one of the whole set it's the first thing you have to build in the instructions which by the way are right behind me over here these are the instructions um and It has a fairly good uh, steering system in it, um, and it can hold quite a bit, as you can see from the load in the trailer here. I'll show you. See the load in the trailer. Yeah, you can definitely see it from that. Um, if I go ahead and give it just a tad bit of a dump out a little bit here. I'm gonna put some back in it just to looks good. Alright. Alright. See, it's only partially full. And some of these I grabbed from just my random Lego bucket. And um it yeah, it holds a fair bit. <coughs> put all these back in it. Uh, it could probably hold more if you have more. Uh, what it holds is these pieces and these little cylinder pieces. Ugh, sorry, if you hear me sniffling, it's because I'm really, like, just getting over a cold. Ugh, I hate it so much. Um, but... Yeah, um, if I go ahead and I'm going to take the the bed here off and we'll get to the insides of it and I'll be right back. Alright, well first off I'll show you the dumping mechanism. So, this piece right here is connected to the underside of it. Yeah, I'll try this way so you can see better. Right, so, it's connected to the underside of it. And then when I spin this forward... It brings it this way, and it dumps the bed that way. Um, and that's basically that mechanism. I'm going to flip it over to the underside here, and actually, go ahead and take some of these tires off. There we go. All right. So, if you look on the inside there, you can see uh, the steering mechanism sort of turn up the... Uh, you can see the steering mechanism in it. It is fairly easy to build. Um, but then again, it's sort of difficult. <clears throat> because, I mean, you have to make sure you have all the pieces in the right spots. If you don't have one piece, then the whole thing's going to just <clears throat> fall apart. Uh, the touching part of the trailer will be, or the 
bucket. I'll be right back after I grab that bucket back there. It is one Technic rod, and you have the whole bucket right here. And I'm going to bring you guys down just a little bit more. And if I put this right through this little plus hole here, and you see these two pieces there, the black pieces, they have holes on them. So if I just take the rod and put it on, and it slides right through both of them, or should. If it doesn't, then I mean, something wrong with it. All right, there we go. But that part is attached, and I'll show you how that yellow piece I showed you earlier attaches. It attaches just like, so you see, you have this pin here, and then a hole next to it. I put it down. You can possibly see it. It's sort of difficult because you have to make sure that both pins are aligned. Then pins go in their spots. There we go. Just like that. And remember when I... This is the funny part though. Usually you would think, oh, I have to turn it this way to get it to dump. Nope, you have to spin it forward. And it somewhat locks in place. On the front here, of course, you have the grill, and it looks like a traditional quarry dump truck sort of front. You have the cab here. The only thing I wish they could have done is made it bigger and also put stairs on it, because usually on one of these, there's stairs you have to take to get up here, believe it or not, because they're so big. They did add the railing, and they did add the lights up here and the spotlights down here. These do turn. I like to sometimes when I turn the wheels... I'll turn the lights in sync with it. That way the driver can see where he's going as he's turning. Um, I do believe that this piece here is just to hold this up. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, but, I mean, it's a fairly sturdy design. Turn the back. Uh, yeah, it has a slope to it, so the pieces will stay in there. And actually, technically, if I put one here, it slides in there. So you can just and load it up with your hands really easily. But like I said, this does come from the LEGO Technic Bucket Wheel Excavator set. Um, I am working on building the B part of it because um, you don't see a lot of those videos. When I'm finished building the B part of it, I will make a video for that. But that's really it. Um... So until next time, this has been Leo did six six five, and I'll see y'all next time. Be wait, also before before I go, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you found all three fidget spinners for one free shout out, and possibly if you guys want me to do a giveaway with all three fidget spinners, then just put hashtag giveaway in the comments below. And until next time, this has been Leo Did 665, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.